I feel very confident. I have uh, felt, you know, we went in with a very big lead today. And it looks like uh, Republicans have shown up in force. So this election should be over. They spend all this money on machines. And frankly, if they'd use paper ballots, it would be over by 10 o'clock. And by the way, the paper ballots would cost 8%. It would be 8% of the cost. If they would use paper ballots, voter ID, uh, proof of citizenship, and one day voting, it would all be over by 10 o'clock in the evening. It's crazy. Look, regrets, you always have regrets. I can't think of any, to be honest, to use her expression. I can't think of any. Um, I, I, look, I ran a great campaign. I think it was maybe the best of the three. Uh, we did great in the first one. We did much better in the second one, but something happened. And uh, this was the best, I would say this was the best campaign we ran. On the assumption I win, I mean, I don't know if uh, something else happens. I don't know what's going to happen in terms of declaring victory. But uh, if in normal times I would go over to the convention center, let's say at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or something, but I just don't know. I don't have to tell them that. And they, I certainly don't want any violence, but I certainly don't have to tell. These are great people. These are people that believe in no violence. Unlike your question, you believe in violence. On the night before Election Day, celebrities including Oprah Winfrey and Lady Gaga turned out in force for Kamala Harris's presidential bid. Harris and Donald Trump closed out this year's presidential race with a fierce battle for Pennsylvania on Monday, making their final pitch to voters across a state that could prove decisive in the campaign for the White House. Harris ended her night in Philadelphia at the Art Museum steps made famous in the movie Rocky, where she said, the momentum is on our side. She also rallied with supporters in Allentown, Scranton and Pittsburgh, and she swung through reading to visit a Puerto Rican restaurant and do a little canvassing herself, knocking on doors alongside campaign volunteers. For more than half of this country's life, women didn't have a voice, Gaga said to the crowd in Philadelphia. Today I am holding in my heart all the tough, tenacious women who made me who I am. I cast my vote for someone who will be a president for all for all Americans. And now, Pennsylvania, it's your turn. Pennsylvania has the most electoral college votes of any battleground state, making it the top prize of the campaign. A victory there would clear a path to White House for either candidate. For more than half of this country's life, women didn't have a voice. Yet we raised children, we held our families together, we supported men as they made the decisions. But tomorrow, women will be a part of making this decision. Today, I am holding in my heart all the tough, tenacious women who made me who I am. I cast my vote for someone who will be a president for all, for all Americans. And now, Pennsylvania, it's your turn. The country is depending on you. So tomorrow, let's make sure all your voices are heard. Come on, let's go! I am here with 10 first-time voters for Philadelphia! If we don't show up tomorrow, it is entirely possible that we will not have the opportunity to ever cast a ballot again. And let me be very clear, if you do not make sure that the people in your life can get to the polls, that is a mistake. Deciding not to decide, that is most definitely a vote to let other people control your future. Now, all, we all know what we're voting against, so I want to end by reminding you about a few things that we're voting for. We are voting to defend and protect the Constitution of the United States. We are voting for values 
We are voting for values and integrity. We are voting for the right to choose what happens to our own bodies. We are, we are voting to save ourselves from this precipice of danger where we now stand. All the anxiety and the fear you're feeling, you're feeling that because you sense the danger and you change that with your vote. We are voting for healing over hate. Always good to be back in the city of brotherly love. Where the foundation of our democracy was forged. And here at these famous steps, a tribute to those who start as the underdog and climb to victory. So America comes down to this. One more day, just one more day in the most consequential election of our lifetime, and the momentum is on our side. Our campaign has tapped into the ambitions and the aspirations and the dreams of the American people. We are optimistic and we are excited about what we can do together. And we know it is time for a new generation of leadership in America. And I am ready to offer that leadership as the next President of the United States of America. However, the race ain't over yet. <laughs> and we must finish strong. And this could be, this could be one of the closest races in history.